understanding to eight ton for a guide to English idioms. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome to our journey into the fascinating world of English idioms. Today, we're diving deep into the phrase to atone for. This expression is more than just words. It's a window into culture, emotion, and language. Get ready to explore its meaning, usage, and more. To atone for is an idiom that means to make amends or compensate for a wrong or a mistake. This phrase often implies a sense of moral responsibility and the desire to correct a past error. It's not just about saying sorry, it's about taking actions to rectify the situation. The term atone comes from the combination of at and one, originally meaning to become reconciled or in harmony. Over time, it evolved to mean making reparations for an offense or a mistake. This phrase is used in various contexts, from everyday conversations to legal and religious discussions. Let's put to atone for into action. 1. She volunteered at the shelter to atone for her past mistakes. 2. The company donated to environmental causes to atone for its pollution. 3. He wrote an apology letter to atone for his harsh words. These examples show how the phrase can be adapted to different scenarios. Understanding synonyms can expand your vocabulary. Some synonyms for to atone for include make amends, redress, expiate, rectify. Each synonym has its nuances, but they all circle back to the idea of correcting a wrong. This phrase isn't just about language. It's about understanding the cultural importance of responsibility and remorse. In many English-speaking cultures, taking responsibility for one's actions is highly valued, and this phrase perfectly encapsulates that ethos. Thank you for joining us in exploring to atone for. We hope this video has not only taught you about this idiom but also given you insight into the cultural values it represents. Keep learning, keep exploring, and see you in our next video adventure.